Better the team, better the results. Better the team, better the results. We've had plenty of team members and staff over the year that weren't near as good as the team we got now. Lauren, and La- La- Lauren was asking the team last night, like, so, so when is everything, and where are we doing, and where are we going, and what, what's going on? And Because we have a team that planned all of this. We didn't do anything. So get up here and hold a clicker. So give the team a hand for those that are here, Andy, Derek, and Dylan. And, and Cassidy and Kelly and all the other team members that are back at the office that literally put everything in place. I didn't realize this before. I thought it's okay to just hire someone and good things will happen. My company will start to grow, add a bunch of people, everything will change. That's, that's cool, that's good. But if they're, not, if they're not any good, it actually hurts. It actually hurts. And we've had plenty of team members in the past to where we're like, well... I like you, you're cool, you know, you seem like a cool guy, cool girl, just come on board and you know, we'll figure it out. That's a problem. You should, I, write this down, you should always hire based on a role. Never based on what you think of the person. Not first. Yeah, would we want to fit into culture? Yes. Do we want to have a great personality? Yes, right? But if we hire based on a role, the assistant I have now is 100 times better than any assistant I've ever had. Dylan is the best video guy we've ever had, and it's not even close. Like the, 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 the Talking Stick AV team saw the video he, 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 of my hype video they did for me recently. We did a new one. And they're like, dang, dude, that's freaking good. Whoever did that is solid. And he's like, yeah, that was me. Because there's a, you could throw out a video that can just totally be horrible. When we started hiring based on a role and finding the best person for that role, everything started to change. Also, the way I think about having a team is I want to get to where I'm able to duplicate, replicate, and scale. And I, Because every business owner wakes up. Like, let's be honest. You you, you start a business because one day you want to be able to unplug from the business and do whatever you want whenever you want to do it. Maybe you still work. Maybe you travel, whatever. And the business still produces revenue without you. True or false? We never say it. Because it seems like we're lazy if we say it. But I'm telling you, that's the truth. That's what every business owner wants. That you don't have to be there and slave away for 12 hours every single day. Like if that's what you're having to do for decades, that's a problem. The better the team, the better the results. When you hire someone, you want to hire the best person in your city. Dylan wins local film and video awards and contests in our city every single year. So there's a reason I hired that dude instead of the other 4,000 video people out there that are just amazing at video that have never actually done it for anybody and barely do it for themselves. The better the team, the better the results. When you start hiring a team, you've got to remember the better the team, the better results. Also, one of the things that I took me a while to realize is number one, I thought that I needed to do everything. I'm the best at everything. I can do everything. I don't need anybody's help. I got this. Who else has had a moment where you're like, dude, I got this. I don't need anybody's help. I got it all. I got everything. I said that at Coach Burt's Lodge and Matt Monero looked at me and he said, dude, that's a problem. You can't do it all. And, you sh- and if you think you're the best at everything, that's also a problem. You should have people in your company that do other roles that actually make your company better. And that do it better than you. Like if you're the best at everything you do, then you, or, 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 if, or if you don't want to delegate. Like who's been in a position where you're like, I don't feel comfortable delegating all the work that I'm doing. That means that you've got the wrong person on your team. Because now we've got such an amazing team, I can delegate anything at any time, and it's going to be better than if I were to do it. Guaranteed. The better the team, the better the results. So as you start to scale out beyond yourself, right? Because the theme of this is expansion. As you start to expand, you need amazing quality people. Another thing I didn't realize years ago is they actually need to have fun. Weird. I thought, hey, just show up and get to work. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to anybody else. Don't get coffee. Don't go to the bathroom. Don't get water. Just ate. No no lunch. Work. Come on. They got to have fun. They got to enjoy where they work. It's got to be a great atmosphere. Culture is still 
the most important thing. That's what I love about my, that's what I've, that's what I've learned most about my, about my father is that culture is the most important piece of a business. Like Landon went and personally bought a pinball machine for six grand just to put in the office, just because we can have some fun every once in a while. Like they need to enjoy what they do. Our sales team, we have contests all the time. I'll take them out to dinner, we'll do some fun stuff, right? Like we're giving away cash all the time, spiffs, like people need to have fun. Yeah, we want them to work. Yeah, we don't want them to just sit there and talk all the time. However, every once in a while is okay. They gotta have some fun. And I'm telling you, the more of a fun, amazing environment that you create, the more they will go to battle for you. Like if you have a team to where your office is, let's just say eight to five, and everyone on your team leaves at five or 501, that's a problem. And the reason it's a problem is because, yes, do, do some of our staff leave at that time? Sure. But when we have a deadline or an event or I need everybody to show up on a Saturday or I need everybody to stay the whole weekend, et cetera, they will. Why? Because they're behind the mission. They see the goal. They're having fun and they love it. And they're, they're a part of something. And it isn't all about me. The moment I started to realize these things and learn, because I've made probably as just as many, if not more, mistakes than everybody else in the room, because I'm trying to you know, lead 60 team members before the age of 30 and multiple offices and all this other stuff. Like I, I, have no, I had no clue what I was doing being a CEO and, and hiring people. Andy hires people so much better than I do. I would spend 10 minutes with them. I'm like, cool, you seem awesome. Get on the phones, great. And then I would realize, hey, they, they need to be, like if, you, if you're thinking about, here's, here's what I look for in a team, by the way. Number one, reliable. Like you got a tummy ache, you can't come to work, like you're never gonna make it on my team. Guaranteed. And I say that in an interview. Well, actually Andy does now, because I don't do any interviews. And we never hire someone on a first interview, by the way. Like that also is a problem. Hire someone on a first interview is a mistake. I may not realize it yet, but it is. Number two, coachable. For our CA, we have, we have a security agent marketing sales team and a CA sales team. On our CA sales team, we want someone that has phone experience but no sales experience. That's a little backwards. Phone experience but no sales experience, why? Because they're more coachable. They'll listen, they'll do what I say, they'll plug in. And I know if they listen to me, they will do well and they will make it. But if they have sales experience and they're like the greatest salesperson in the world, but they're interviewing with me and they don't have a job, kind of weird, which a lot of people, a lot of people out there like that. I'm incredible, top salesperson everywhere, but I'm unemployed. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I'm never hiring that person, by the way. I don't care how, how much results they have, et cetera, like they are not going to make it on my team. Never gonna happen. And then third, reliable coachable, and I know that they will fit into our culture. They will fit into our team. They're, they have a great, good personality. They are just like the rest of our team. And I know because I've had plenty of sales, sales rooms that were a disaster over the years where I hired people I never should have. And they infect the whole rest of the team that's not their fault, that's my fault. Instead, I wanna hire people that will fit in, make our team better, and they'll have a ton of fun. And we let people go, by the way, if we do hire the wrong individual. I know in the first 72 hours, we are hiring slow and firing fast, and we are getting rid of them in day one, day two, or day three. They make it past day three, they're going the distance. If I don't see something I like, Two hours in, hey, I don't like this, keep doing it, you're not gonna be here. Do you think you're gonna keep doing it or do you think we can change? Because guess what? Most people, they hire fast, right? 10 minutes, like me years ago, you're, here, you're in. And then let me just let you sit around for eight weeks and just infect the whole office, not get anything done, let me pay you a bunch of money and before I know it, I'm like, crap, I don't wanna get rid of this person. Hire slow, fire fast. They don't make it very long, do they, Derek? <laughs> Not at all. 
Better the team, better the results though. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Thank you so much. I wanna thank Cody and Lauren for putting this on. Give those guys a big hand for doing this. Amazing, amazing event, okay? Amazing, really, you guys are awesome. Like, when he called and said, hey, would you do this deal? The fact that they're willing to